I think any investor who has ex- direct experience of having invested into mutual funds and equity markets for a reasonable period of time sh- can be a target for this fund. And the reason I say an experience of investing into equities, right, is because you need to have the experience of investing in a high risk asset. Secondly, this is a different concept, right? Here, I am working on a framework based approach. And therefore, it is not easy for everyone to understand it. So therefore, an experienced investor, let's say you've been investing in equities for at least three to five years, right? then you will probably understand this better and have a, an ability to take, you know, any uh, moments uh, or shocks in the portfolio as the markets keep evolving. But the one thing I probably let the investor understand is that people think corn products are high risk products. And that's something that also was at the back of our minds when we were designing the framework. We think that our framework actually minimizes risk, right? So there is a focus on risk mitigation as well. Because we've kept those boundary conditions, we've focused on liquidity, we've focused on active weight shares, etc. as much as a real portfolio manager would do, right? So we wanted the framework to think like an active portfolio manager, right? And how much can I overweight? How much can I underweight? You know, how much of our boundary conditions, right? So therefore, there is a focused effort towards risk mitigation. This sits somewhere in the between. It takes higher risk than a passive fund, but in some sense, it has better risk mitigation than a, you know actively managed fund. So therefore, it sits somewhere in the between over there.